Hi guys, today we're talking about electric forces and in this problem it says calculate the magnitude and direction of the Coulomb force on each of the three charges. So this is the equation we're going to be using uh, to find the electric force. And we've got K which is Coulomb's constant times Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. So the first thing we need to do, we'll, we'll start off with a 6 micro Coulomb charge. We've got two forces acting on it. We've got this positive 1.5 micro Coulomb charge and it is going to be pushing up against this positive charge so we're going to say that the force from this positive 1.5 micro coulomb charge is going to be pushing up against it and going in this direction okay the other force on the 6 micro coulomb charge is this negative 2 micro coulomb charge right here alright and so it is uh, because it's attracting it's going to be coming it's going to want to go towards it, okay? So the force is going to be acting that way. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to say K times Q1, which in this case is 6 microcoulombs times Q2, which is this negative 2 microcoulomb charge. You got 2 microcoulomb charge. And the reason why I didn't put the negative is because it's just to signify the direction of the force, okay? You don't actually put it into the problem. Anyways, and we're going to divide it by the distance squared. So, uh, the distance from this positive to this negative charge is going to be 5 centimeters. So you convert that to meters and you get 0 0.05 meters. And then, of course, you have to square it because it's uh, R squared. Alright, and so when you do that, you're going to get 43.152 Newtons. Okay, because you got your K, you've got your 6 uh, microcoulomb charge, and you got your 2 microcoulomb charge divided by the distance squared and you get 43.152 newtons. Alright, so 43.152 newtons. Alright, and so uh, I'm just going to put this up here. And that is going to say um, it's this long thing. So it's from this positive to this negative, just like that. Okay, for the second uh, second charge, we're going to take this 6 microcoulomb charge and this 1.5 microcoulomb charge, and we're going to do the same thing. So we say K times our 6 microcoulombs times 1.5 microcoulombs, and we're going to divide it by the distance squared between those two charges, which is 3 centimeters. So 0 0.03 meters squared, and uh, that is going to give us 89.9 newtons. So we got 89.9 newtons. Okay. And the reason why I do this, uh, this top, these top brackets, just to try to organize to show you uh, all the forces and uh, the magnitudes and what's going on. Um, now we could find the magnitude and direction of this one, but uh, first I want to find the magnitude between this 1.5 microcoulomb charge and this uh, negative two. So again, we do K times our 1.5 microcoulomb charge times our 2 microcoulomb charge and divide that by the distance. In this case it's 2 centimeters or 0 0.02 meters. Okay. And uh, so we got K, the 2, the 1.5, and 0 0.02 squared and that gives us 67.425 newtons. So 67.425 Four two five newtons.
All right. Now we just need to do some addition or subtraction. All right. So we've got uh, we've got this 43.152 newtons, and uh, as you can see, um, this is going to be attraction, right? Uh, so this force right here, right, it's going to be going this way. Now we've got the 89.9 newtons, which we took from this charge and this charge right here, and since they're too positive, they're going to be repelling or pushing away, right? So that's going to be here. So what you do is uh, you're just going to take the 89.9 newtons. And you're going to subtract, because these are opposing uh, directions, you're going to subtract this 43.152 newtons. Okay. And um, the reason why you subtract is because you've got these forces going in the opposite direction. They're going the same direction, you would actually add them. Okay, so when you take the 89.9 minus the 43.152, uh, you're going to be left with uh, 46.75 newtons. So that is the magnitude of the 6 microcoulomb charge. We have 46.75 newtons. And it's going to be going to the left. And the reason is because you've got a much larger magnitude going to the left. Okay, so when you subtract the smaller magnitude going to the right, you're going to be left with 46.75 newtons going in the left direction. Right. Now for the second part, or this uh, 1.5 microcoulomb charge, you've got 89.9 newtons between this charge and this charge. And since they are the same uh, sign, or they're, they're both positive, um, this six microcoulomb charge is going to be pushing, okay? So you got 89.9 going to the right, and then because this positive and this negative attract, you're going to have another force going to the right. So all you have to do is, uh, uh, well, here, let me put this in here. So you've got the 89.9, that's going to be one force. And then you've got this uh, 67.425, and that is going to be your second force. So you're going to add those. So we get 89.9 plus 67.425, and uh, that's going to give us 157. Point Three newtons, and it's going to be going to the right, okay? Because you got your forces going to the right, so you got 157.3 newtons, and the direction is going to be going to the right. All right. So uh, finally, for this last uh, this last charge right here, so we've got uh, a negative and a positive, so they're going to want to attract. So between this two and this, uh, or this negative two and this 1.5, they're going to attract. So one force is going to be attracting, and because this is a positive and this is a negative, uh, they are going to also be attracting. So you're going to be having two forces uh, going to the left, okay? And so um, you know you're going to have 67.425 newtons, and that's going to be one of the forces. And then, of course, you're going to have uh, this 43.152 newtons. Uh, it's going to be your second force, okay? Because this 43.152 was between here, positive, and the negative. So again, there are two forces. They're going in the same direction, so we're going to add them. So you take your 43.152 newtons plus the 67.425 uh, newtons, okay, and you're going to get 110.6 newtons, and it's going to be going 
to the left. So 110.6 newtons, and it is going in the left direction. And um, that's how you solve that problem.